New York City restaurants and other venues now required to check indoor customers for proof of COVID vaccination. But a Brooklyn restaurant says it is refusing to do it. Pasticheria Rocco says the mandate forces it to unfairly discriminate and it has joined a lawsuit to stop that vaccine mandate. Joining us now, the restaurant's manager, Mary Josephine Generoso. Mary, thanks so much for being with us this morning. No problem, my pleasure. Now you've chosen to lawyer up and fight this vaccine mandate put in place by the mayor. Tell us why you think you have legal precedence in this and, and why you may actually win. Um, well, honestly, I feel like it's completely unconstitutional. Um, I feel like the mayor has now just uh, made us two different classes of people. We we're unvaccinated and vaccinated. And I feel that, you know, uh, according to um, the 14th Amendment of the Constitution, it's unconstitutional. I hope that um, we can win on those grounds. Um, but really, on the face of it, I can't understand how uh, people do not see that it's discriminatory. Uh, you know, the people that support this, especially the NYC Hospitality Alliance, say that it's better to do this than to shut down. But what we have seen in the past year is that health officials can choose to shut down at whatever COVID percentage they deem is dangerous. Are you worried that you still may have to shut down regardless of having to go through this? Well, I mean, we were told during the pandemic that if there was enough uh, people out there that got vaccinated that we'd be able to go on and live our normal lives as that happened. Um, honestly, you know, the goalposts keep moving. We were told that if we were vaccinated, we wouldn't have to wear masks. Obviously, on July 30th, the CDC director stated that, you know, even though you are vaccinated, you can still transmit the disease. So therefore, even that on that basis alone, I don't see how we should be separating people based on vaccination status. I mean, if the vaccinated uh, population out there is still able to spread the Delta variant. Uh, I'm not quite sure how, us, you know, it's really uh, protecting people to have people that are vaccinated indoors and people that are unvaccinated outdoors. Um, so I've instructed my staff to go ahead and be masked just so our customers are more comfortable. Um, but yes, I, I really believe that at any given point, uh, the, the laws can change, the mandates can change, uh, and we can be shut down if the mayor decides so. You could be facing fines for not going along with this mandate, fines of up to $1,000. What do you think about this? Um, as I said before, we'll take the fines as they come, but the mayor is really asking us to segregate our customers. There's actually a new sign that we went ahead and put on our window that was not there previously that um, is saying that we are going to accept everyone, that we are not going to segregate and we are not going to discriminate. Um, I, I know that the fines are coming. I expect that they're coming because I've said publicly that I would not be complying with this mandate, but I can't turn my back on the customers that wish, wish to patronize. I can't understand how in 2021, we are now creating a new class, separating people and segregating them and making them feel that they're not welcome. I myself have natural immunity. This mandate does not speak to natural immunity. I think it's so unfair that, you know, a virus is a virus is a virus and natural immunity has been the best immunity throughout all of time. And now all of a sudden in 2021, it does not account for anything. I do not know why people have chosen not to get vaccinated. That's not my place. And I cannot ask people if they've been vaccinated and refuse them service or not to be able to be sat indoors based on that. Just to be clear, Mary, what is natural immunity? Does that mean you're not vaccinated, but you have it immunity for some other reason? Uh, Correct. I, I have had COVID and I have antibodies. I, um, I am constantly getting my blood work done to make sure those, those antibodies are still there, which they are. Um, I actually just spoke to my doctor again. I'd like to have another um, antibody test to make sure, obviously. I, I want to make sure that I'm protected myself. Um, so this is not necessarily about a vaccine. It's, it's more about, first of all, it's, it's private if somebody's been vaccinated or not. I don't know how it's okay that the mayor thinks we should be able to be checking people and refusing them service indoors if they're not vaccinated. I mean, this doesn't just apply to the restaurants, the bars and the gyms. Pretty soon it could apply to anything. And then please explain to me the difference why we can walk into a crowded Target. We can walk into a crowded Home Depot. At that point, I mean, there are people spending ample amounts of time in those huge, huge stores. Why aren't they being checked? 
check for vaccine status there. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really make sense. I feel like we've been targeted. I mean, for for us, the the, the restaurants, the bars, and the gym owners, we have to be vaccinated. Our employees have to be vaccinated. That means I'd have to fire myself. I'd have to fire my husband, my staff. I mean, I know some of them have been vaccinated, but it ju it just doesn't make sense. None of it does. Mary, uh, we do want to thank you for chatting with us, and uh, hopefully your your you know location falls under the fact that you don't have to be in there that much long time, less than 10 minutes. So that means those rules would not specifically apply to you. Um, I wish they did, but there's some you know I've I've gone ahead and pushed my tables as close to the windows as possible, but you know there are, there is sit down here. Mm. All, right, All right, Mary, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate it.